Hello everyone, welcome back to another custom die cash review. Today we have a Bowman race win from Richmond. So of course, being a Bowman fan, I have to make them because Lionel won't for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, this was his first win of the 2021 season out of four. So we have reviewed, I believe it was the Dover win in the Authentics line. I redid that in the Gold series. We reviewed the Martinsville win with the, it was the uh, two diecast video. It was the dual diecast review. It was the Martinsville win. And of course, sorry, my cat was biting the boxes. Uh, there was the Martinsville win. And of course, it was the Martinsville race version from Hamlin. And we've done the Pocono. That was also a, a dual diecast review because we made the Larson race version after he smacked the wall. And of course, we made the Pocono win for Bowman. Even though this was the first win of the season, this is the last win we are reviewing out of all of the customs. As you can see, I've done a little bit of customization to the box, I guess you could say. Uh, the Richmond logo was not big enough to block the ages uh, four and up, so I kind of used a little bit of a whole white piece there. Got the NASCAR Cup Series uh, winner sticker, and of course got the race version right there. Once again, I am doing what Lionel cannot, custom boxes and getting race wins produced that they apparently refuse to even offer in some cases. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get this uh, bad boy unboxed and underway. Here's a die cast out of the box. Now again, this is the first race win for 2021, and Bowman in 2022 has already gotten one win, and he's almost won two more times. Both recently at Coda. Now he got was it second place in the Cup Series and 25th in the Truck Series? Now you may be wondering how in the world did he almost win if he got 25th? I I don't know. I don't know. He was right there at those final corners. He was in like what second or well no he was in second on like the final two laps. Uh, he drove it in a little hard. He kind of bumped Kyle Busch out of the way, and he he kind of you know he kind of went in there a little a little too much. He sent there a little too hard, which I mean you know. Accidents happen. We've seen it before. That was Bowman's fault. I'm not defending him by any means. Uh, but yeah, he, just, he sent it in too hard. Screwed himself over. I think he got like the fifth on the last lap. And then, for whatever reason, he, he disappeared. He was gone. Nowhere to be seen. He went from like fifth to 25th. And I don't know how. But either way, it was uh, really painful. And honestly, I believe if Bowman did not get bumped into and put into that kind of like gravelly sandy type area he may have pulled it off of coda maybe i don't know if he would have but it would have either been chastain or bowman it would have been either of the two there's no way anybody else could have got that but those two people of course chastain was the one to get it overall you know good for chastain i'm happy for him it's about time he got a win in the cup series especially recently and uh just it would have been better not better honestly i, I would have preferred chastain to win over bowman in all honesty because i feel like uh chastain no he's been there up front so many times he deserved the win before bowman did now that's coming from a bowman fan ladies and gentlemen just saying i'm a little more a little more honest with uh, my opinions about bowman uh than other people but i mean yeah it definitely would have been nice in order to bowman to get a win especially at coda you know first road course yada 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 would have been better if they got a or if he got a back-to-back uh, -back win, truck series and cup series, but we all we all can't have good days, you know. It it is what it is. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, let's actually get into this uh, die cash review. So of course you got your primary paint scheme. He didn't win in any other paint scheme other than this one uh, so far. Of course, 2022 he won in his primary. Actually, I think all seven of his wins has been, have been his primary paint scheme. 2020 and 2019. It was Alex out the car in 2019. His primary paint scheme. And then, of course, uh, the Cincinnati scheme 2020, that was his primary paint scheme. And 2021, of course, the Ally was the primary paint scheme. And 2022, again, primary paint scheme. So, uh, yeah, I wonder if he'll ever win in a different paint scheme. That'll be, that will be the day. That will be the day. But anyway, got the front end right here. I will take a look at that here in a minute. On the hood, you got the Ally 40 different times for whatever reason. I got some of that race wear up there. See Bowman on the windshield. You can see I colored in uh, the white 
bow ties for yellow. I like them yellow is why I did that. So you got some uh, detail on the dashboard there. Got the 48 on the roof. Ally do it right. You got a little bit of decal tear, but that's from Lionel. Not from yours truly, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. You got Bowman right there on the rear windshield. You got Ally right there. Ally, once again, on the back. Of course, you got that uh, black spoiler uh, Camaro Z011 Elite. Got the tail lights, Valvoline, and the 48 there. On this side, you got a little bit of race wear. You can see uh, down the side here, you actually got a tire mark on the wheel. I've been starting to do those, and I love how they turn out. Some of them been uh, can become a little scuffed, but I like how this one turned out. You got Valvoline, and of course, Ally Do It Right, Alex Bowman. Uh, so that's Cronus Freightliner, Mac Tools, Simon Cincinnati. Of course, you got Microsoft and Hendrick Cars. So you got the little exhaust plate there. I went a little heavy on this side with the whatchamacallit, the race wear. That, it was not that dirty on that car, I promise. I got NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR, or NASCAR race car, NASCAR Cup Series. Of course, you got the good year right there. Of course, you got some worn out tires with that blacked out axle. Moving on to the front, it gets really dirty again. It was not this dirty. I just like having dirty race cars. That's, uh, that's what I live for. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of why, again, I went a little too hard. I know, my bad, my bad. Uh, you can see you got some more streaks down the side here. Uh, the tires are actually pretty good, other than this one that got shredded up a little bit. I did not actually shred the tire. I need to next time. I've got the window net down there. You can see, of course, the roll cage is painted gray, not silver, because this was a time where I was uh, kind of switching silver paints, so I was using gray uh, as an alternative. You can see it's kind of in there, too. Gear shifter, steering wheel, all that's painted, even though it's hard to see. Got the fender cut out right here. Of course, you got the rubber buildup and race wear around from the burnout. Uh, again, I didn't do any detail on the tire. I really should have, but I didn't. Here's the underneath. Here's some more of that gray I was talking about. Uh, normally, it is silver, but again, I was using the gray for an alternative because the silver paint I was using was a little bit too liquidy, so I had to get a thicker paint. And during the meantime, of course, uh, I had to use gray because I wanted projects done and all that good stuff. So I got the fuel cell or the fuel tank there. Whatever that little red piece is, that's painted. Uh, of course, you got the little axles and the uh, little support beams, or not support, like little, whatever these are. They're kind of like a, a connector that kind of supports this back end for the suspension and stuff. So you got the exhaust there. Uh, of course, you got transmission, drive shaft, those are gray. And whatever these are up front, uh, those are also painted as well. So there's pretty much all to say for this Bowman Custom. Now I have ordered the, what was it? No, it was Dover, not Pocono. It was the Dover win. And, of course, you know, that was the first one to be released for whatever reason instead of this one here. But I ordered it, and it says it's on pre-order, even though it should not be on pre-order. I ordered it like 12 days ago, 11 or 12. Still hasn't shipped. I still haven't been charged. I've checked every other day. It's through kstatediecast.com. I might just have to cancel the order and get it somewhere else. But I'm going to give them the benefit of, of the doubt because of this. I have not seen a lot of people post that win on Instagram because, you know, I got I follow a lot of Bowman fans. I really do. And normally all those Bowman fans get all the Bowman wins. So I haven't seen a lot of people post them. So something tells me it was like kind of a unreleased release, I guess you could say. Like they released it too soon. So they had to like take it back or something. I don't know. Something's going on with it, but I'm going to give K-State benefit of that. I'm going to do a little bit more research to see why it's happening. But again, I've oh, I've almost ordered it ordered it two weeks ago, and I haven't always still seen anything from it. So again, I got to do a little bit of research, see why that's happening, and I will get down to the bottom of it. I can guarantee that. Premature. That's what I was trying to say earlier. A premature release is what I was trying to say. But once again, I don't know. I'm gonna just uh, do some research and see if I can get any any time soon. But with that being said, I do believe that'll be all for this custom diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.